Good evening. I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. I don't know why this song jumped into my head. Double Double by uh, Atoa Boafe in Ghana. It's so funny because in my pre shuffle, there's either a Taurus or a Hierophant out there that is drinking seven cups, They're taking seven shots right now. And it's because it was a double meaning. I pulled the Hierophant card with the, the Hierophant can be a Taurus, with someone with Taurus heavily aspected in their chart, or it can be some type of religious figure. It could be a judge in a courthouse uh, with the Seven of Cups. And they said, there's somebody out there, a Hierophant energy, that's drinking a whole lot of cups right now because whoever you are, the Holy Spirit said your cups are about to be overflowing. Those cups are double meaning. Your cups are about to overflow and things are getting ready to be balanced in your favor. Okay. And really quick, as a sidebar note, South Africa, somebody that's under judgment in the legal system, it could be possibly someone that's either in jail, going to jail, or going to court for something right now. They're trying to energy harvest from you right now. Be careful. Okay, that was in my pre-shuffle. Next in line, the transition came up a few cards after that. I don't know if that was for that person or uh, what it was, but it'll come out later on. So uh, somebody can expect something. Uh, someone can be expecting a message right now. The Three of Wands uh, with the Eight of Wands, okay? Double, 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 low. <laughs> Everything is going to be doubled in your life. Whoever you are, everything is about to be doubled. Your money, double, double, low. <laughs> your anointing, double, double, low. Your business, double, double, low. Somebody is somebody that is the wounded warrior. Somebody that has been struck by your anointing. Somebody that has been attacking you is going to possibly be sending you a message very soon. That's going to cause your cups to overflow, whoever you are. So Holy Spirit, what, because whatever they did was a bad investment with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What you mean? I'm not really that funny. I am funny. A few people say I am. You're really not that funny. You're going to sit on. I had a nerve to sit on top of my deck. All right, let's go. What are the messages, Holy Spirit? He said, praise the Lord in the morning, in the evening, in good times and bad times. Now turn around, touch your toes, hit the ground. Hey. <laughs> All right. So somebody that is stuck and stagnant, somebody that is stuck and stagnant, okay, finally is going to free themselves of this thing that has been a burden because they cannot move to the left or the right. Whatever they've been doing uh, has them in a, a really stuck energy with the hangman Pisces energy here and the nine of swords. Somebody actually could be sick or afflicted right now uh, because of something that they know they did or some knowledge that they could have held back from you of something that they know they might have collaborated with other people to do against you. And right now, they're very sick and I feel like whoever this person is, they are not going to fully recover or heal unless they confess and say what they did and release the person that they did it to and give them some clarity. That's why you have the Nine of Swords here. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is somebody in a mental imprisonment about something, but they just will not heal. They will not heal until they confess. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I have a Queen of Pentacles here, okay? 
uh, and the wheel uh, of fortune reverse. This is Aquarius energy, and this is also a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy right here, okay? So this could be a man or a woman, possibly, okay? And they could have possibly done something uh, to someone that is uh, financially stable, independent, flourishing, and doing well. They could have attempted to try to do something uh, to someone, okay? Could you please clarify uh, what is... Um, Okay, this is the person that wants to release the burden, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, okay? So, uh, Holy Spirit, uh, th so the problem is they want to release a burden about some type of imbalance, Sagittarius energy here, uh, that they have caused to you in the past or tried to cause possibly to your stability with this uh, Nine of Pentacles, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles and Temperance in the reverse, Sagittarius energy, again, like I said, uh, they want to talk to you uh, and confess to you so that they can be free because they're wounded right now. They could actually be sick. You know, once the spirit of God uh, puts his foot on your neck, you know, and you get stricken with an affliction and they, and they tell you, you will confess or you will suffer. Every breath that you breathe, every step that you take, I'm hearing that song, every step you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. What did they do? What is this burden this Queen of Pentacles energy wants to release? Okay. Because they lack structure and discipline, okay, that's Virgo energy over here. Okay. What did they do? I feel like they might have strategically planned to do something. Uh... Okay, let's read these cards. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. They could have took their time and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse could be some work that they did on you. I believe this, whoever this person is, they could have worked with other people because I did see the Three of Cups in the reverse to orchestrate something, okay? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is some work that was carefully planned and orchestrated. Uh, some low vibrational work at that with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is what they're telling me. And they received some money or possibly the promise of some type of a payout, okay? They did something to try to keep you stuck in some type of a cycle, okay? With this world card. That's what I'm getting. So they, they work with others possibly or a third party to orchestrate something uh, orchestrating something could be gang stalking or it could be a host of other things too, you know, manipulating different people, you know, it could be just something as simple as spreading gossip or lies about you or saying that they witnessed something with you that they did not or try to set you up by recording you, you know, in a moment when you were joking around and then showing it to people and saying, look, this person's mentally unstable or imbalanced. You know, y'all got to be careful of people with these uh, phones and cameras. You know, sometimes people, they can play with you in a way wherein uh, if someone was trying to prove you are mentally unstable, they could be like, uh, say there's a family member, auntie, uh, put the pot on your head. Let, you know, we joking around, we having drinks, whatever, and record you and then later show it to someone in a court or something and try to use that against you. Just to give you an example of how you can orchestrate something uh, to make a person look a certain type of a way, okay? So they were paid to keep you stuck in some type of a cycle, keep you stuck in something that you were in or something someone was trying to hold you in. I wanna clarify that uh, world card. Uh, The Empress, okay. And then I have the High Priestess reversed here. Okay, so I believe that, let me see, they had some type of expectation. Clarify to me, um, first, what is the world reverse? Clarify the world reverse. What's the world reverse? What's the world reverse? Clarify the world reverse. Okay, that's it right there. Okay. Yeah. They wanted to keep you in some type of cycle stuck to possibly uh, an Aries energy or an emperor. 
So say um say this is a family member, this Queen of Pentacles, uh Aquarius energy here is a family, a friend, uh a coworker, it's somebody that was close to you, whether it be male or female, but they participated in something uh possibly collaborating with an ex of yours, okay? They possibly collaborated with an ex of yours to keep you stuck in a cycle with them, okay? And they received some type of payout for this. So I'm getting the feeling that if you broke away from one of your exes because they were emotionally abusive towards you, manipulative, or narcissistic, or they were not good for you in any way, and this person became bitter and had the money, the resources, uh, the means, and the people uh, in place to orchestrate something to keep you from moving forward in your life, uh, to orchestrate something uh, to block you from love in the future uh, through monitoring your devices. If this person had access to people that had access to resources wherein they could uh, tap your phone, you know, have people watch your home, you know, anything, uh, to pay your relatives off, this whoever this energy right here is i have um an earth sign and aquarius energy here uh they worked with your ex to keep you stuck in a cycle so you would be forced to go back with whoever this person you was in a relationship uh in was okay whether it be a male or female okay and what is the high priestess in the reverse uh with the uh, expecting card out in the cold. Oh, okay. So they were expecting you to stay out in the cold. They were expecting you to be left out and isolated in a sense. They they participated in activities to try to keep uh, to try to keep something from coming towards you that you were supposed to possibly get, which could have been uh, an opportunity for you or some type of financial abundance. Mm hmm Okay. So there, there was some type of financial abundance that was supposed to come towards you. And they did some type of work on you. I feel like you're this empress here. Clarify the empress. To keep you out in the cold from, uh, out in the cold, like out of the loop. If there was something that you were supposed to receive, some communication from family, friends, a courthouse, anything, any type of communication, um, these people that this person was collaborating with, uh, they were doing things to keep communication blocked off from you, to keep you out of the loop, to keep you from finding out about something that was, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so the high priestess in the reverse here, uh, that's someone that's not using their intuition, okay? Uh, what they, they were doing some type of work on you to keep you out of the loop, and it's something that you were supposed to be expecting that was going to lead to an ace of pentacles, some type of blessing that was meant for you. And they were working with your ex, other family members, and people uh, to keep you from using your intuition, Empress, uh, and keep you confused in an illusion and blocked off from whatever this Ace of Pentacles right here was. Uh -huh. That's what the Five of Pentacles in the reverse is. They were intentionally blocking you from an opportunity possibly in love or a financial opportunity. Uh, talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles, please. What is this Ace of Pentacles? I opened right out to the emperor, right, and the sun. I'm not sure if the sun is reversed or not. They didn't want something to become illuminated to you or uh, to an emperor. Now, I have another emperor here. Uh, this is Aries energy as well. Hmm. Now, I wonder if this is a storyline I'm picking up on from some months ago where there was someone's... Uh, love interest that their family collaborated and lied to about them. They told them some type of lie about them cheating and being no good and all these low vibrational things and this emperor believed uh, the family 
and broke up from whoever this empress is. And what happened was, um, not only did he break up with that person, but also started collaborating with the family uh, to do spell work and to do things to hinder and block uh, that empress's stability and everything. Not once did they fact check to see if what they were told was true, but you know they started attacking this empress you know because they were upset because one the empress left them for being narcissistic toward them but also uh they believed uh some lies that were conjured up about this empress uh so this could possibly be that same uh emperor energy this aries energy that you were in a relationship with okay they could have also provided some type of illusion or delusion for them as well uh in the beginning of this whole uh, drama or debacle. <laughs> All right. So that Ace of Pentacles uh, could have been some type of divine union that was supposed to take place. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles was some type of divine union. Okay, got it. Or opportunity for some type of divine union. Okay. And something is going on right now with this Six of Cups. Uh, in the reverse, there's a king of pentacles. Oh, you, okay. Somebody, I told you on the last reading, somebody has a king of pentacles possibly headed in their direction. Somebody knew. Because that whole situation, this is what happened in the past. So what is, uh, so at this particular time, what is, uh, what is the desire of this queen of pentacles, uh, Aquarius energy uh, possibly here uh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse what is, what is his or her desire Whoever this Aquarius energy is <laughs> they, What are they waiting for oh, they expect, What are they expecting to come in Okay This Aquarius energy is expecting uh, This Emperor reverse to do what Are they expecting them to heal? To try to heal a situation? Okay. Clarify the nine of wands reverse. Okay. <laughs> to heal something. Oh. Could be bisexual energy. Oh. Oh, okay. They showed me the emperor again. All right. The ace of pentacles reversed. So they want to heal something. They're, maybe they're trying to set the record straight now and try to heal something because they realize that they've lost this opportunity uh, with the Ace of Pentacles reversed here, you see, okay? Okay. So they're in the energy of wanting to heal something now, okay? I have the Page of uh, Pentacles. This came out uh, yesterday with that Aquarius energy. There was a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and an Aquarius, uh, both of which uh, participated uh, in causing some type of confusion uh, to tear up somebody's life. Just, just for uh, 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 the almighty dollar. Just for some money. And I have an, uh, a Taurus. Okay. This could also be a Taurus energy. Okay, that had something th that this could be the Taurus energy, the Hierophant. I'm sorry, y'all. This uh, this is the Hierophant in the reverse here. Okay, so I believe this could be whoever this is. This is the Taurus energy. The page, the page of uh, Pentacles is a younger person with the Hierophant in the reverse. This is um, this is someone that has Taurus heavily aspected in their Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, and then we got the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So now they want to try to balance out a situation, uh, possibly because of bad karma. Why is it they want to balance out this situation now? They're, again, this Taurus energy. Why do I keep opening up to this Taurus energy? What are you... Uh, okay, maybe I should have put those cards on the table. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse again. All right, and the Six of Cups. 
they lack structure and discipline. And what is going on with this uh, Knight of What's going on with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? That could be another energy on the table, a new start. They want this person to have a new start now to end a conflict because someone uh, someone is unhappy uh, with the results that they ended up getting. Okay? They were not able to pull off whatever they were trying to pull off. Whatever they were actually expecting here uh, with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay? The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Uh, they couldn't trick. Uh, they couldn't trick or fool or delay whoever this uh, empress was that they were trying to block off um, from moving forward from uh, whoever that Aries is, okay? And I have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Cups in the reverse. So these people or someone is now closed off to any type of... Uh, third-party energy possibly uh, if, if this person was spending time with these people collaborating with them in the past scheming is what I'm getting okay uh, if this person was scheming uh, on ways to not only attack whoever this man or woman is in the past uh, and find a way to get them back into their energy uh, they've closed off emotionally to all these energies that they were working with that were giving them bad advice and that they were following Okay, so whoever this, uh, whoever your emperor is, uh, whether it be a male or female, it doesn't have to be an Aries, but they were in that Aries energy, J just act before you think, you know, that baby energy, bump your head and then figure it out later. Uh, whoever uh, that is, they have now closed off their emotions to all these other third party energies that they were working with. Whoever that Taurus energy is, whoever that Aquarius energy is, all those other people, they've closed off emotionally because it didn't get them. But that's because their ass was a follower. That's because they was being a follower. They don't have nobody to blame but themselves. Being childish. Oh my God, being childish. Give me some energy on this reading, Holy Spirit. The answer is yes. I don't want to reach over there and get it. Let me get it with my foot because I hate when my big head get into the damn reading then y'all don't say it in the comments but y'all be thinking it y'all be like damn she got big ass head okay the answer is yes childish as fuck <laughs> yeah the answer is yes at the end of the day this is what this Aries or energy, this emperor, whoever you were dating, this was an older relationship an older couple, maybe 30 and above, 30, 40, maybe 50, somewhere in between there, but these were older people, you know, and instead of, instead of being a mature adult and when accusations were made against this person's love interest, what they did was they went and just started instantly collaborating with family members they never even met before this empress introduced them to their family and friends and whomever. So this fool just instantly gave all their trust to people that they only knew, know, knew for about five seconds over their divine masculine or feminine. So that shows the level of maturity, whoever this love interest of yours was that comes out in this emperor energy, that shows their level of maturity. You know, this is a narcissist. This is a messy narcissist that, li that likes chaos and conflict. Believe it or not, you have some people out here uh, and you have some men out here, more specifically masculine energies, that are messier than women. They actually enjoy a whole bunch of chaos and gossip and a whole bunch of, he said, she said, triangulation, uh, a whole bunch of excitement going on, a whole lot of action going on. They enjoy all of that. Because if that was not the case, that's why I said that Aries energy, busybody, doing too much. You know, they enjoy all of the commotion around them that they, that, that excites them, believe it or not. And that's why they indulge, they, they did what they did because they wanted to do. They could have clarified with you at any time whether or not the accusations that were made against you were true or not. 
but instead they collaborated with their friends, with your family and other people to wage a whole war against you for something you did not even do. And the reason is because they get excited by that. They like that kind of mess. And that's why they're low vibrational, which is why God moved you out of their life. Because they're, they're, they're messy. If it's a man, this man behaves like a messy woman. If it's a woman, it's a messy woman. I don't like messy people. When you messy like this, and Aries is a, a younger energy, uh, it's the baby of the zodiac, when you're messy like this, and you find messiness exciting, excite, exciting to you, a lot of times it's because you haven't been through enough pain yet in your life. You know, uh, so you don't mind experiencing a few things. It gets your adrenaline going. But when you're an old soul and an older energy that's more emotionally mature, you're not looking for no drama. You stay away from messy people. You like peace and calmness. This person intentionally indulged in a whole bunch of foolishness and messiness when they knew at any moment they could have put it all to rest with a simple phone call and a simple conversation. But this person carried on, I feel like this person carried on for years harassing you and trying to block you and trying to block your life and playing with you like a toy even after you walked away because you realized this person was messy. You realized how, how childish this person was and they still would not leave you alone. Give me some energy on this emperor in the reverse. Okay. Uh, Y'all saw it. Do not touch my anointed. This messy person wanted to, uh, th this messy person that you was in a relationship uh, wanted to play around in your energy. And they use technology, like I told you, they use technology to block, harass, and hurt you by trying to block opportunities for you, block love interest, you know, by monitoring your phone because they have access to people that have government positions or uh, positions in which they are able uh, to get access uh, to your phone and your devices, they were able to intercept anybody that you tried to talk to or date on the back end and offer them money to either play in your energy or to walk away from you. They was doing it. Or, and how they, and the spirit told me how they were getting these people on their side and on their team and the spirit specifically showed this to me several times in in a download i've been getting over the past few months what they did is they played victim okay because most people would be like don't nobody got time for this messiness this childishness we grown-ass men here we grown-ass women what kind of fuck shit you into you know uh, hang and who are you hanging with a whole bunch of women any goddamn way you sound like a damn woman but what they did is they went to anybody they tried to intercept from collaborating with you, whether in a relationship, in friendship, or anything else, and they told these people uh, uh, some type of lie, like you took all their money and left them, or you slept with their brother, or you cheated on them. They, made up, they came up with some hor horrific, horrific made-up lie about something that you did to them and played victim. This Aries is a covert narcissist, if it's an Aries. It can be any sign. But whoever this person is, they are covert narcissists, and that's why God uh, moved you out of their life. So the reason they got so many people to go against you is because they would go to people that would want to date you, and they would tell them some type of story. She took advantage of me. I really loved her and wanted to be with her, you know, and she cheated on me and slept with my brother. She got pregnant by another man. She did the, just make up any damn thing, but, but made sure that the lie was so fucked up that people had empathy for them. And then people got into that uh, uh, Knight of Wands energy, passionate about destroying you and hurting you because they thought you were a bad person because this Aries or whatever energy this is, is a good actor. They were a very good actor. Like I said, this can be any sign. It's just the emperor comes out usually when it's an older masculine energy. 
so they waged a spiritual war against you and got a whole bunch of people uh, uh, against you uh, and you are God's anointed by telling lies and shedding a lot of tears and making up stories that would touch anyone's heart. I'm thinking if a man came to me, you know, crying, you know, uh, talking about, I don't believe the woman that I love. I was faithful to her. I wanted to do everything for her. And she got pregnant by another man and emptied out my bank account. This man made up a complete lie about you. And that's why whoever this person is, they're under judgment right now. But that this is how covert narcissists are able to orchestrate and manipulate situations. You have to be careful of the covert narcissist on your job and in your, uh, in your friend group and at your church and in your family because the covert narcissist has a squeaky clean record. The covert narcissist wouldn't hurt a fly. The covert narcissist appears innocent as a, 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 a defenseless lamb to everybody in the community. They're very quiet and timid. They, you rarely ever see them yell. You might even see them cry a lot. The covert narcissist is very gentle and sensitive. But they're actors. They are very good actors. And they use that ability to be a covert narcissist to get all these people to gang up on you. And you're God's anointed. And that's why they're under judgment right now. What else do we have here? Incoming message. They were blocking, they were blocking messages from coming into you with incoming message in the reverse. They, they were using technology to block your messages coming into you if there was a love interest or something about a job opportunity or anything coming towards you. Uh, this is an ally or an associate they were working with or collaborating with on this. They were working with other people that had access to resources in IT that could uh, do a lot of things using the computer. I only just found out, y'all, I only just found out that, you know, somebody now, they can, I forgot what the word is, um, now they can send a phantom phone number where it looks like your phone number is coming through, ringing through to someone else's phone, but it's not. I forgot what they call it. But I didn't even know, I know a lot of things that they're able to do, but I did not know that they're able, that they were able to uh, call someone else's phone and use your phone number without even having access physically to your phone. They're able to call another person's phone or text another person's phone and it'll look like it came from your phone number exactly. That's how advanced technology is now today. So you can damn near do any goddamn thing. So most of the covert narcissists you're going to find are very good at computers and very good with technology and working in IT fields. Most of the covert narcissists are not street criminals. They're people that are uh, in the computer sciences. So y'all gotta be careful with this shit. Y'all gotta be careful about these innocent weak lamb uh, covert narcissist that wouldn't hurt a fly. That's, that's so quiet. Oh, he's shy. No, no, no. Them shy ones are the biggest uh, uh, covert narcissist. Military or army. So they knew somebody in the military or army and that's how they got access to a lot of your information. And well done. The way I explain that, that's how it happened. What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else from this deck? Any more energy on this from this deck? See, people are unaware. People really religious figure. So they use the spiritual practitioner as well. Yeah, Polly, I knew that was going to come out. Uh, they, they also hired a spiritual practitioner to do spell work on you. You know, they had people in your family working against you. And uh, I, see, I, when I nick this, I need to expand on something really quick. Y'all need, there are different types of narcissists, but y'all really need to buckle down on these covert narcissists. They're always the one, they are always the one that seem the most innocent, okay? Say you have a sister that's a covert narcissist, but she's uh, convinced everyone in your family that she loves you, you know? She do anything for you and she doesn't understand why you think that she's against you. 
a covert narcissist, a very good one, what she'll do is she'll gather everybody up in the family and be like with tears in her eyes and say, I don't know what's wrong with her. I love her so much. She keeps blocking my cause. I think we should all try to support her and tell her, I think she just doesn't feel loved. Now, let's all try to uh, support her. Uh, let's all put on these yellow t-shirts that say, I love you, sister. Now, say you were raped or molested in a yellow dress when you were a child, okay? I'm just coming up with a scenario to make you understand how a covert, a covert narcissist operates. That seems very innocent, always talking about Jesus and the Lord. Say you had some type of sexual violation done to you as a child and you had a yellow dress on and you have something, you have some type of issue with the color yellow and you get triggered by it, okay? As crazy as that sounds, y'all understand what I'm saying, okay? I feel like this is for somebody too. And say that your sister knows that this has been a trigger for you your whole entire life and you act the fool whenever, you know, uh, you're, you're triggered by certain things, right? So what she'll do is, I don't know why my sister has blocked me out of her life. I love her. I just want to be a part of her. I don't know why she's running from me. I think she really needs to know how much we all support her. So let's all put on these yellow t-shirts. Let's all put on yellow t-shirts that say, I love you. And then she'll have everyone put on a yellow t-shirt and take a picture together uh, with hands like this and be like, yes, we love you. You know, the, the little thing they do like that, right? and send it to you and she'll be the only one with a wicked smile everybody else uh, with pure intentions will have a, a regular smile but she'll have an evil smile because she wants you to recognize her smile because she know what she did she knew that the color yellow triggered you but the thing about it is is nobody else knows so she's fucking with you on purpose but and she got everybody else to do it too but they don't know that they're in a, they don't know that they're fucking with you by doing that. But she knows it. And she, she thinks that's funny. These are the types of things that covert narcissists do. So everybody else's intentions are good. And then when you just cut everybody else off and block them off completely, then uh, she says, see, I don't know what's wrong with her. She, she, she's got a mental issue. I don't know. We got to pray for her. I don't know. Maybe we, let's send her yellow flowers. Everyone just send her yellow flowers. I think she likes that color. You know, this is what covert narcissists do, you know, uh, to play with your mind, to try to hurt you and to try to still seem innocent at the same time. So they'll do some, a kind gesture in everyone else's eyes, but it's really an evil intention that only you and that other person know about. You got to watch out for these covert narcissists. When you notice that a lot of people tend to distance themselves from them and block them off and uh, disappear out of families and away from them, it's because this person is very sneaky and manipulative and they know how to manipulate in a way wherein they still come out on top looking like the innocent one, okay? So this is who your ex is. Your ex made himself or herself look very innocent to everybody else when they were the agitator. They were the narcissist in the relationship uh, and they were abusive towards you. And you ran away and escaped from them. And to punish you, they, they pulled that covert narcissistic tactic by just telling straight lies. And everyone believed them because they seemed like the type, you know, maybe like a quiet, nerdy type. They seemed like a really type, it, it seemed like it was believable because of their quiet nature. Let's go. Anything else out of this deck, Holy Spirit? Government, they said it again. They used government resource used to track, monitor, and harass you. And this was somebody, one of you have the ex that's either in the military or army, or they have a family member or a friend in the military or army that did this. Ooh, I hope they get caught, whoever did this, uh, unemployed. They could have lost their job, y'all. Whoever this is, they could have went through a job loss because of what they did to you. They're trying to energy harvest off of you. 
Oh yeah, they yeah, because I told you the religious figure and Polly. This was a coven. This person was going at it. This person was going at it against your boss supervisor. They were infiltrating your job. Boss supervisor. Yeah. Wherever you were working at, you couldn't go. They tracked and monitored you everywhere you went. So if you changed jobs, they would contact people at your new job and they would get these people to uh, uh, gang stalk you and harass you at work and play games in your energy uh, because they would offer them money. And in addition to offering them money to play or, to energy harvest from you, in addition to doing that, uh, they got them to go along by making them believe you were a bad person by telling them that bullshit story about how you hurt them. North Africa. I have North Africa here. Whoever that resonates with. This, this narcissist under judgment in the legal system. Yeah. These people are under judgment in the legal system for what they did now. See, that, let me tell you something. Uh, this was a frenemy, secret hater, okay? So that could have been a friend of your exes or a frenemy that they grew up with. Seventh grade, baby, kindergarten, and the third party knows you. The third party knows you. So this was somebody that was close to you, either in your family or close to your family, your church or community that was helping them and working with them because of the lies that were told about you. And this is the danger in giving too much power to one person. The danger in when you give access to resources and information and power to humans, okay? Humans that are tainted and distorted and unhealed and wounded and like to play God and operate out of their egos too much is from time to time, a person with too much power and authority and access to resources and information will get their heart broke. And it'll be someone that has some type of injury from childhood they haven't healed from. And you know what happens when a man or a woman breaks up with someone that works in the CIA or the NSA or the military or the police? What happens when you have a wounded, uh, emotionally immature uh, police officer or a military person or a government agent, you know, that has a, a, a wife uh, that leaves them for being narcissistic and abusive or a girlfriend that breaks up with them and they have an ego death. It could be a woman or a man doing this. What do they do? They abuse power. They abuse their power and access to resources. Some of them go too far in invading your privacy and harassing you. You will never get a break. You will never get to date again in peace until God brings down the hammer because you're protected and you are anointed. If you are walking with God in the highest vibration of love, you are protected and you are anointed and they will get touched. But it's hard when someone in a powerful position or has access to power, you know, is unhealed and wounded and you break up with them because they get the power to abuse that that's why people need to have psychological evaluations when they get into these positions it's not fair to civilians i can't tell you how many i know uh husbands and wives have been harassed and stalked non-stop just because they broke up with somebody in the government or broke up with somebody that's in the military or has some type of authority, broke up with a judge or broke up with some lawyer or somebody, you know, that has access to something, uh, some way to do something to somebody. And if you dated somebody in the IRS, well, God damn it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. So what else, Holy Spirit? Let's move forward from this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I, I, I mean, if you date somebody, I'm telling you that has access to any type of resources, have family members that work in the police department, the military, and they're crazy, and you break up with them, child, that'll make you never want to date again. That's enough to make you never want to get out there and date again. The campaign that they'll sit up there and uh, launch on you from a distance. From a distance. Because they know they can't get caught, so they'll use other people. They need to track all of those people to make sure that they're not harassing exes. 
Now somebody want to walk away because everything's becoming illuminated. Oh, hell nah, partner. You not walking away, partner. No, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You're not going no motherfucking way. Now you want to separate yourself from this shit. I got to disassociate myself from this shit before my ass get locked up. No, everything has come illuminated. And everything that this person did is now known. And they know that the person, you, Empress, whoever you are, male or female, that's Libra energy, or any other sign, okay? They know that you know what they've been doing now for a fact. And they want to walk away from this shit. But now nah, you in too deep. Clarify uh, that eight of uh, cups. They not walking. They not walking away scot free. You don't get to walk away. Holy Spirit, talk to us. Do they get to walk away from uh, uh, the years of harassment and the uh, orchest the uh, the gang orchestration, the gang stalking, and all the things that they were doing? How they were abusing, uh, uh, having family members and access to information. Uh, Holy Spirit, is this person get, gonna walk away from this and get away, Scott? I can't make this shit up Sorry to yell But I just get excited when justice come out Justice This person is about to get You're about to get justice For everything that was done to you Come on Come on You about to get justice for every uh, I can feel somebody about to type in the comments Can you please stop yelling I can feel it so I'm going to stop yelling, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> justice. You are about to get justice for how you were wronged. You are about to get justice for how all the pain and suffering, the mental anguish, uh, the, the emotional, uh, the energetic, bu the bullying. You were being bullied by someone that had access to uh, power and authority. Somebody was bullying you. This is, this is like a, a high school bully. But imagine a high school bully that's in the military. This is Libra energy right here. Is there a Libra? Is there a Libra in the military that was bullying somebody? Because they had government access to resources? Hmm. Y'all, that, that, I feel like there is a Libra. I feel like it's a Libra male. The spirit is telling me there is a Libra male also. This is a double meaning card right here. You're about to get justice, but there's a Libra male that's either in the military or ex-military that has been abusing their authority and abusing the access that they have to people and information. To gang stalk and harass somebody. Let's go, Holy Spirit, with this justice card. Queen of Swords. Yes, it is a Libra. Or an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I feel like, yes, this is military right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirming that for me. There could be someone with Le a male with heavy Libra in his chart that was in the military or currently still is that has been abusing access to resources, information, and power to bully somebody that was defenseless. But they were not defenseless, whoever you are, because you had God on your side the whole time you were anointed. You, you, God just wanted them to go ahead and finish what they were doing. Go ahead, finish. Go ahead, finish. Finish all that shit you're doing. Now pick it up, God damn it. Clean it up. Every bit of it. You're going to clean up every bit of it. It's like when you was doing some bullshit when you was a child and your mother said, now nah, go ahead, finish. Go ahead, finish dumping the shit on the floor. Keep on doing it. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish. Uh-uh, don't stop now. Finish making a mess. And then she come right behind it. Now pick the shit up, goddammit. <laughs> Clean it up. That's what God said. God's coming in the picture now. Karma. Karma. Now clean it up, goddammit. The scales are being balanced for whoever this air sign is in the military that was doing it. That's right. Battery saver is on my laptop right now. This person's running out of energy. <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? Thank you for clarifying that for me. What else, Holy Spirit? Woo. Them joints flew right across the deck. I got the queen of cups in the reverse right there. 
So that, that's that covert narcissist. Ten of Pentacles. So part of cleaning it up could be whoever was involved. I believe this covert narcissist is the Queen of Cups reverse. This could even be your ex, possibly. This Queen of Cups reverse energy. It's not their wish fulfillment any longer uh, to uh, try uh, to get some type of Ten of Pentacles abundance. Can you clarify what that means, please, right there? What What is this... Uh, uh, it's uh, the Ten of Cups reverse with the Queen of Cups reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. What is that? It's not, uh, the, I, I believe that Queen of Cups reverse is a covert narcissist, but it's no longer their wish fulfillment. Oh, to be an, oh, damn. Part of their karma, part of their karma, the spirit is telling me part of their karma is uh, they no, they're in some type of uh, uh, marriage or relationship that they don't want to be in. With that Ten of Pentacles. I, I, I feel like whoever this is, they were bitter and cold and nasty. And, and they were projecting onto you because they're in a, a collaboration or a marriage with somebody that they're not married to for love. And they're bitter in their relationship and they're unhappy and they no longer want to be married to someone. Can you confirm that for me, Holy Spirit? What's going on with this? Yeah, this is going to manifest in a few years down the road. They're very unhappy in some type of relationship. Never argue with the fool, because from a distance, folks can't tell who is who. They only want to gaslight you. Uh-huh. I told y'all. Okay, so this is the covert narcissist. They only want to gaslight you. Wow. So whoever this covert narcissist is, now we are talking about your ex. Uh, they, they, they ended up in some type of a marriage that they did not want to be in. And I believe your ex collaborated uh, with whoever this uh, Libra in the military is this Libra male in the military and your family member and your family member uh, that Aquarius energy and that uh, Taurus energy as well all right so this is the probable outcome for the future but we all have free will okay so what we got is um, so they're saying down the road because they're unhappy this person had already made a decision about you okay let me let me do this. Wasteful. <laughs> they said that the marriage they're in is a damn waste. They feel, and this is an overly logical thinker. Can you give me some energy on, uh, <laughs> they're married to someone that's extremely wasteful. They're wasteful. This is someone, <laughs> give me some energy on this Queen of Cups uh, covert narcissist energy tell me about this emotionally mature and responsible why is this queen of cups reverse they only like and see you as a friend humble why is this queen of cups reverse oh financial curse or disaster <laughs> okay i get it okay now remember no one is all bad Okay, not one person is all bad. We all have our dark side and light side. We all operate out of our lower self and our higher self. Okay, so whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, uh, they're a financial curse or disaster. They, that's why Wasteful came out. They are they're a humble person. They like and see you as a friend. They're e they're saying that this person is emotionally mature and responsible, but they're a financial curse or disaster. So they're not good with money. This person is wasteful and they're not good with money. So they're, they're, they're in an unhappy marriage. And this person is weak-willed. Oh, wow. Okay. This person is weak-willed, they're not good with money, and they're a financial curse or disaster. Lustful seduce mode. Okay. And they're humiliated. They're humiliated as well. So whoever they're married to, who, give me some energy on the person that they're, this is your ex. Who are they married to? Hey, what is this? Your light irritates my demons. Give me some energy, wisdom. Okay, I, I, I put wisdom away 
but then I popped it out again. Wisdom. Okay, go ahead. Tell me about the person that they're married to. Financially responsible earth angel. Wait a minute. 